Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode... Why are you crinkling stuff right when I start recording? Hold on. I'm putting this over here. Alright, it's okay. That's batteries, alright? Alright. Welcome, everybody, to episode 98 of my Gateway Experience. Thank you so much for tuning in. The purpose of these videos is to document my journey, our journey, through the Monroe Institute's Gateway Experience. I like to call the Gateway Experience a scientific, repeatable process of self-discovery, self self-exploration, and ultimately self-mastery or self-actualization. It consists of a total of 36 tapes divided into six waves, and we are currently on the second wave, and the last tape of that wave called the living body map. So, this is the fifth time, fifth day doing this tape. So, if you haven't seen any of my other videos, go ahead and check those out. That way, you can see where we started, where we are now. Are we the same? Are we different? You tell me. Let's get right into it. Today is Wednesday, November 30th, 2022, and it is 9 1 1 a.m. 9 11 a.m. That's quite a number. I'll never forget what they did to us, these uh, American government. Um, anyway, yeah, I woke up at 7 40 a.m. And so it's been about an hour and 30 minutes, basically 31 minutes since I woke up. I did my morning routine and then I went ahead and did the tape of the living body map. And having done this tape for the fifth time, today I want to talk about focus. Oh, there you go. You're, you're falling off. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and I've talked about it before briefly, but I don't think I've ever really like really hammered it in. And so my family and I, we were watching Harry Potter and we were watching the, fa the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. And uh, I just thought this was, I just thought about this this morning, but I was thinking about focus and I was thinking about how to explain it. And I looked at this um, Matt Jickle creature, fantastic creature that was in that story. And in it, uh, it the, the way that the creature looked was, because uh, there was a lot of creatures in that story. There was... Uh, what creature? You remember the movie we were watching? Yeah, yeah I remember that. Uh, remember that big rhinoceros? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the one that was on the ice. And then do you remember the 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 chameleon that was like uh, shape shifting, or not shape shifting? He was invisible. Yeah. So that invisible uh, chameleon uh, was taking care of another animal, and this other animal was like a bird and a dragon put together. And when we saw the other ones inside of the main characters, uh, his like little. Uh, briefcase that he has uh, when he went in there and he, there was they were like very tiny but when they went to find it after they followed this uh, invisible um, chameleon it wasn't really a chameleon it was like a hairy sloth type of creature um, I don't know exactly how to here I'm gonna put you down so I can keep making this video okay Sage please please can you just stand there thank you or sit down if you want up to you okay. um, Oh yeah, you have a sloth on your shirt. Look at that. You have three sloths on your shirt. Those are nice. Um, or are those koalas? No, those are sloths, right? Yeah, koalas. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, so these... Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, if you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. It's this creature that was very small uh, when it was in the container that the, uh, that the wizard had it in. Uh, I think maybe he was a doctor in the movie. I'm not sure what they called him. But, um, yeah. Um, but when they found it, it was in an attic. It was in a cellar. And so it had taken up the space of the room. 
and it was, it was it turned into a very giant creature and so in one sense of the word us humans were exactly like this creature when it comes to our thinking okay so depending on what you pay attention to and the size of your thoughts that is what and what your focus is on that is what your life will become so if you are focused on these um, small things like uh, you know uh, I'm not gonna name any just in case any of you watching are, are paying attention to these things but you know if you are one of those people and if it's up to you and that's okay if that's what you want to do but if you want to do something bigger which I believe we're all meant to be doing something bigger here on earth all we need to do is elevate maybe align ourselves with people that are already thinking that way and then also elevate our own thoughts and I think one of the great ways to do that is through the Monroe Institute's Gateway Experience because Bob Monroe is someone who was at the top of the New York radio station business and when he left he left with a fortune a ton of wealth and he wanted to help other people to discover these things that he believed helped him in his business career and a lot of those things were the um, paranormal and uh, things like that he talked about it when he was very very young he was uh, had need, he needed two dollars to I think take someone out on a date and he didn't have it but he went in his backyard he had a feeling to uh, just overturn this rock and uh, there was two dollars neatly folded underneath that rock and nobody knows how he got there same thing with his pocket that he had in his uh, it's funny because, you know, I, I immediately start to think about theories of, like, potentially what it could be. Oh, it was his parents, potentially. Or, oh, it was him sleepwalking if he put the dollars in his pocket. But then they did experiments with that where, I mean, things are interesting. So I believe that that's where we come from is a world that is not physical. As my son over here picks his boogers and eats them. That's what that's what kids do. And I love them so much. Daddy. You know you need to stop doing that, right? Daddy. Yes. No? Okay, up to you, whatever you want to. Yes? Why did you say that mommy is going to do that one? Oh, it's just a story that I heard from somebody. Um, his name is Bob Monroe, Robert Monroe. And he said that when he was younger, like you, he wanted to take another girl on a date. He wanted to go out with a girl. He was older than you, obviously. He was like maybe a teenager. And... <laughs> <laughs> Why are you smiling? <laughs> um, and so he needed the money, but he didn't have it. So he went outside and found it underneath a rock. Why are you smiling like that at the camera? <laughs> That's a little fake smile, dude. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, I think that's what's going to be for today's video. Um, if that's what you want to do, then you know, hit me up. If you want to communicate with me, let me know in the comments down below. And, uh, what, this <laughs> is fake, it's so fake, dude. I can tell, and they can tell, that is a fake smile. Let me know in the comments down below, and until next time, we will see you guys soon. Peace.